All right, so today we're taking a look at the JBL Pulse 5. Price on here is 250 bucks. And real quick, let's talk specs. So this is gonna give you a 360 degree sound as well as a 360 degree light show. And there's no question about it, if you're buying this speaker, you're buying it for the RGB lighting effects. It's also gonna give you around 12 hours of battery on a full charge. It's IP67 dust and waterproof. It also features multi-point connection, so you can connect two devices at the exact same time. And on top of that, it is Party Boost compatible. So if you have other JBL Pulse speakers or just other JBL Party Boost speakers in general, you can pair them together for stereo sound. It's got an upward facing tweeter as well as a downward facing passive bass radiator. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box and get a closer look. So here we have the speaker, as you can see inside the box, you're also going to get a type C charging cable as well as your usual quick start guide, paperwork and instructions. So if you're coming from a previous model Pulse speaker like the Pulse 4, you will notice that the Pulse 5 is a little bit larger. We also have a nice little strap on the back this time around, which is nice. And then also on the back, you have all your controls. So you got your power button, Bluetooth pairing button, uh, your lighting controls, party boost button, as well as a little meter right there to help you gauge your battery life. And then of course your type C charging port on the top, that's going to be your upward facing tweeter on the bottom. You can see you have your passive radiator and you do have RGB lights around the radiator as well, which is really nice. You also have your little rubber feet on the bottom of the speaker to give it some grip whenever you have it on a flat surface. So let's go ahead and turn the speaker on and right away you can see those RGB lighting effects. And like I said, you do have RGB lights around that passive radiator as well. Now you do have JBL app support. So let's go ahead and pull that up inside the app. You're able to control your different lighting effects and you even have different categories of effects. So you can see you have nature, which gives you a list of effects. You can scroll over to party gives you another list of effects. As you can see, you've got spiritual, you've got cocktail, you have weather, you have canvas. So you have a bunch of options in terms of the lighting effects. So let's go back and you can even change the brightness level. So if you don't want it as bright, you can bring it down. You can bring it back up. You can change the tempo. If you want the lighting effects to move slower or faster, you have that option. And you also have your equalizer. It's a three band equalizer. So you can adjust the bass, adjust the mids, adjust the highs, pretty much put it however you want to get the type of sound that you like. And what's also really cool is that you have built in ambient sound effects. So maybe you want to use the speaker kind of like a nightlight or something like that where well, you have built in ambient sound effects that you can use to help you go to sleep. And what's really cool is that you can also set a timer for it to play for a designated amount of time. So if you want it to play for 26 minutes, you can set it to 26 minutes and then you can go ahead and press play. And after 26 minutes, it'll cut off. So let's go ahead and listen to a few examples of the different sounds. And you do have the option to play multiple sounds at the same time. So if you want to mix and match these different ambient sounds to find that perfect sound to put you to sleep, you do have that option. So in terms of sound, you're getting 10 watts of output from the upward facing tweeter and 30 watts of output from the downward facing passive radiator. Now, in terms of sound quality, this thing is giving you some very clean sound, which we will get into a sound test here shortly. But on the top, you have this kind of like a grill. It's like a grill. So it lets the sound escape from that tweeter and really pass through the top of the speaker, uh, which is great for the overall clarity of the speaker. And then again, you have that downward facing radiator, which gives you some nice punchy bass. So let's go ahead and get into the sound test so you guys can hear for yourselves. Problems. I would never thought that you could be causing these problems. It's 